in this video I'll explain to you how we can generate a Monero address in a safe way. This is very very important so you can keep your Monero safe and hackers won't be able to steal it. Um, first of all generating it on a Linux operating system is the way to go. Doing it on a Windows is a very very bad idea because there are lots of viruses for Windows so we won't even bother with that. But for most people, Linux is a different operating system to get started with. So that's the first hurdle we want to uh, make it a little bit easier. And the second thing is that if you install uh, Linux on an uh, existing laptop, not only is that a rather complicated uh, process, but you also don't know uh, what kind of hardware is inside your laptop so it's it is entirely possible that that hardware um, has some backdoors which could enable spying from governments or hackers or companies or and so on so you want to avoid that and we can avoid that by uh, using a raspberry pi a raspberry pi is basically a very very small device uh, which is very limited in what it can do uh, but the hardware is completely open source and no backdoors should should uh, exist inside that little device uh, therefore it's a very safe way to generate um, a monero address there's also a lot of ready to use software for a raspberry pi that's very user friendly and a Raspberry Pi is also pretty cheap. It costs around $40, $50. We just need to attach a screen and a keyboard and a mouse to be able to use uh, the device. And also you need to install the operating system on an SD card. You can find a lot about that on the internet. I won't explain that in this video. Um, for I personally use a, a Pi Top, which is basically a Raspberry Pi inside a kind of laptop which already uh, has a screen and a keyboard and a trackpad so it's very user friendly and I can take it anywhere I want and use my Raspberry Pi on the go. Although this seems like a safe way to generate your seat there's still one remaining problem and that's the generating of the random. Uh, a normal laptop has a lot of uh, random inputs from sensors and so on so the random that's generated by your laptop is pretty safe but again you don't know what's inside the laptop so that's an issue for a raspberry pi there's not a lot of sources of random so if you don't trust that and i personally want to be very safe uh, i don't want to trust the random of the raspberry pi so uh, I use uh, hexadecimal dice like this one uh, so it has 16 uh, sides 0 through 9 and then a b c d e and f and you can use this to generate a Monero seed so uh, uh, the Monero seed is uh, 265 uh, bits which is 265 zeros and ones and that's equal to 64 hexadecimal chars. So 64 dice throws basically uh, can generate a full Monero seed. So in the rest of the video, I'll show you how to set up uh, the Raspberry Pi, what you need to download, um, and how we are able to generate the seed, and then eventually. I'll check if a transaction that I've sent to the newly generated address actually arrived. So that's the plan. Let's get started. So first, what we need to do is go to github.com slash Luigi1111, which is the repository of the CoreDev Luigi. Uh, there we will download his uh, website tool he created for uh, generating Monero addresses. So go to uh, this sub 
page and then click download zip and when that's done we are able to navigate to the downloads folder and then extract the website and when that's done we navigate to the correct uh, web page which is address tests HTML we double click and then the web page is loading and here we see uh, what we'll use to generate the seed let's first experiment a bit with it so we can trust it and let's type in the easiest uh, hexadecimal a key which is 64 uh, zeros and let's generate the uh, written the, the word seed the 25 word seed which is like you see not very random it's 25 times the word abby and then we can click through to the on the other buttons to generate the private spend key the public spend key the private view key and the public view key um, then we can generate the address by pressing on that button yes and then we can uh, generate the QR code which enables us to scan the address this is the most uh, unsafe address you can imagine because the private key is totally not random there's also a way to check if the address actually is generated correctly and indeed this happened so this page also has an option to create a random hexadecimal uh, seed but again that is using the random of the raspberry pi and uh, the goal is not to trust it but let's just do it and see what changes so this is a random seed that's generated and then we can click through again on the buttons to get eventually the address and well uh, you see that you need to actually press every button again it isn't an automatic process so make sure you do that if you don't do that uh, wrong data is used so now we refresh the page to actually start generating um, our seed but before we get started we of course disable the Wi-Fi and we will never ever uh, put the Wi-Fi on again so this is a secure SD card basically so when we throw the dice we actually throw two dice at once so we only need to do 32 throws instead of 64 I have a black one and a white one I always use the white dice first and then the black one to avoid a bias from myself so if I would just randomly choose which dice to pick then there's a possibility I will for example order them from low to high or just pick the, the letters first and then the numbers so, on. so we want to avoid that and I will just pick the number generated by the white dice first and then I'll pick the number generated by the black dice first so in this case uh, it's first an A and then a 1 and we will now put those numbers into the box and now we throw again and now it's first a 2 and then a 0 and we'll put those numbers in again and so on and so on so the process repeats so let's show one more dice throw now it's first an F and then it's a 9 and let's put those dice throws in again in the box and you'll see the process repeating and repeating I'll skip the other dice throws and we'll just move to the end so this is our last dice throw which is first an A the white one and then a 4 the black one we put those two last numbers in and now we can click uh, generate one which is our seat and that's the most important step because this is our completely random Monero seed which we should now uh, write down so you write it down on paper 
you don't copy that to a word file and then try to move it out with the usb no you just write it down that's the most secure thing and then we go on we generate our private spend key and we can generate our public spend key from that and then we generate our private view key and then we can generate our private uh, our public view key from that and then we move on we uh, don't press that other button uh, generate for audit we just move on to generate a seven which is the address and well we can try to write it down but we will use the qr code we scan that with our smartphone mail it to yourself or something and then we can check if the address is valid which it is hopefully yes it is so we can rest assured that everything went fine and now to double check ourselves we will refresh the page and we will put in our 25 words we just wrote down and we check if uh, the address is the same uh, when we type those 25 words in manually so let's do that I'll just show the first words and then um, move on to the last bits so that's the last words and now uh, let's generate again everything to double check so we first click generate seed so that's our seed we just generated with the dice then we generate every, every key again and we can now check the address if it's correct we can do that again by just checking the text or again scanning it by using the QR code and then there's one important thing we also need to get from this page which is which is our private uh, view key it's uh, useful to have that to check uh, transactions you sent to your cold storage address and there's a trick to do that you just copy it from the correct box and then you paste it in the address field and then click generate QR code so this is not your address but it's generating a new QR code which you can also scan and that's your uh, private view key which you can also mail or to yourself and that way you have both things the address and the private view key which you can use for um, checking uh, transactions so when I finish this process I uh, send the transaction to the address I created and let's just check if everything works out so this is the transaction ID and then we can see on xmrchain.net uh, we can we can decode our transaction so first i need to copy paste the monero address this was the address and now i need to copy paste the view key this was the view key and let's decode the outputs and we can see that indeed one output in this transaction was sent to the address we generated on the raspberry pi using the dice and the amount is 0.001337 monero so at the moment this isn't even spendable because the minimum fee is higher but when uh, monero is like a thousand dollars people are free to uh, plug in the key you could see uh, in the video and just uh, take that small amount of money out of this address i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i hope it was useful for you maybe you will indeed start generating uh, your um, addresses in this way and then you will be able to just be sure that your coins are safe and won't be stolen 
you can always visit my website at weuse.cash. Uh, this video will also be posted there alongside some additional tips and tricks regarding the safeguarding of your seat. Thanks for watching.